What's up, I'm Troubleshoot. If your controller isn't working properly with Assassin's Creed Shadows, let's speak about things that we can do to try and fix that. There's a couple of different fixes, but of course, the main thing is likely gonna be controller compatibility, especially if you don't have an official Xbox controller to use with your Windows PC. The easiest way around this is to install a piece of software called X360E, which basically allows us to emulate an official Microsoft Xbox controller. This way, compatibility should pretty much be guaranteed for any controller. All you need to do is in the description down below, head across to x360ce.com, then choose download for all games, Games, save the zip and open it. Once the zip is open, you'll find an exe here. All you need to do is extract this file to the game's install folder. To get there, there's a few different ways. First of all, if you have the game on the Ubisoft app, click the three dots underneath Assassin's Creed Shadows, Manage, choose Properties, then on the Installation tab on the far left, click Open Folder here. This will take you straight to where the game is installed. You should find AC Shadows and AC Shadows Plus. This is where we should extract it too. If you have the game on Steam, right click it, hover over Manage and choose Browse Local Files. If you have the game on the Epic Games app, head across to library, find the game here, click the three dots and then choose Manage, followed by clicking this tiny icon next to Installation to open the game's folder. If you have the game on the Xbox app, simply right click the game, select Manage, then on the Files tab at the very top, you'll find Browse over here, which will take you straight to where the game's installed. Inside of this folder, wherever you found it, extract X360CE as such. Then run X360CE and this is the Xbox controller emulator. Move your controller around and if you don't see anything happening on the screen, tick both, enable zero map devices and get X input state. Once you tick both of these, you should see things moving around as you play with your controller and press buttons. Great. If you see that one issue pops up over here, select it and then when you see virtual device driver, click install here. We'll then need to wait for it to finish installing. We now need to make sure that Assassin's Creed Shadows is selected from the game drop down at the very top. If it's not here, choose add game, navigate to where the game is installed, likely it'll automatically open this folder, then choose acshadows.exe. If you have it through Ubisoft Plus, select AC Shadows Plus, mine's just shadows, open, and now you'll find it over here on the list. Click the tick next to it to enable it, then select the game from the drop down, and at the very bottom we have some options. Tick, com, PID, VID, stop, LL, and SA. Once you have all of these selected, click start in the very top right up here to start the game with these options. If things still aren't working, over here by X input files, just tick 64 on the right hand side for everything here. At this point, when you click start, things should hopefully be working properly. So the game launches, and when we get to the menu, if things are acting a bit weird, or when you're playing the game, buttons just don't work as you expect, all you need to do is open up the settings, head to options, and on the control section under controller, customize controls, and make sure that all of these match what you expect. Your controller may act a little bit differently to a normal Xbox controller as things could be mapped slightly differently through X360CE. The same can be said if you're using a third party controller. Anyways, it's a good idea to make sure that your controller is mapped exactly as you hope for character and combat, just to make sure things work properly. Once you've done this, things should work fine. If you have in particular a PlayStation controller that you're trying to use with the game, you can try and download something called DS number four Windows, which is a similar thing to what we have here, just for PlayStation controllers. And finally, if you have the game through Steam, we can try toggling Steam controller support. So inside of here, head across to Steam in the top left, followed by settings, then head down to the controller tab over here, scroll down and make sure that enable Steam input for Xbox controllers if you're using an Xbox controller is turned off. Steam input may impact other games that aren't necessarily launched through Steam, but that's pretty unlikely. Either way, turning this option off if it's on or on if it's off may help solve your controller woes, especially if you own the game through Steam. If you do, you can try toggling Steam input for the game. So locate it, right click, choose properties, and on the controller tab, you can change it from use default to disable Steam input or enable Steam input. Steam input is essentially a layer between the controller and the game that allows you to remap buttons and things through Steam rather than the game itself. This could of course be causing issues. And finally, you can also try launching the game through Steam Big Picture. You'll find an icon just up here that launches Big Picture mode. You can always exit back to desktop mode, but launching it through them may give you better controller support. And finally, if you have an 
official Xbox controller, you can try updating the firmware, especially if it's a wireless controller. Open up the Microsoft Store and inside of him, search for Xbox Accessories as such. Locate and install the Xbox Accessories app from Microsoft Corporation. Then once it's done, open it up and inside of him, select your controller when it eventually loads. Click the three dots underneath it and assuming it's an official Microsoft controller with firmware, you might see an update option at the very top. If you do, make sure to update the firmware of your Xbox controller for better support in games and things like that. Anyways, that's really it. At this point, things should hopefully be working properly. Hopefully you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.